Hello, Rick off here. Welcome to video number 13 of Rick's Pipe Dream Magnetic Motor Generator Project Series. As you can see, I have my uh, digital level set up on the wheel rim, and this shows the angle that the wheel rim is manufactured at. It has a slope to it. 8.1 degrees. Now, I'm going to remove that level and place it up on top of the uh, stator arm. I'll swing that into view. See how the wheel started moving. Okay, go up a little higher here. See, I have a I have a lamp set up back here to provide a little more light. But um, anyways, set that. Okay, you see that it's the same angle, 8.1 degrees on the, on the T of the stator arm. Now, this is going to present a problem because I'm going to be swinging the stator arm back this way. Over the wheel. And I'm going to be using it in this position where it's across the wheel rim instead of being aligned with it as in the uh, previous four videos. Okay, now the problem is that uh, this angle is set to zero currently, so I'm going to have to tip it down to 8.1 degrees. Also, the, um, since the angle of the stator arm currently this way is 8.1 degrees, I'm going to have to lift this up. I have to lift this up so that this becomes a zero. See? I'm going to do that. I'll pause the camera a moment and then I'll uh, take care of those adjustments. Okay, now I'm showing you that I do have the angle of the T, uh, which would be the horizontal offset, have that set to 8.1 degrees, same as the angle of the wheel rim. And here you see that the um, vertical offset is zero, zero degrees. So we're all set now except for the height of the uh, stator magnet over the rotor magnet. So I'll need to bring that back down to one inch since it's uh, become higher now. Now I'm checking to determine the uh, distance between the magnets. And I believe that I do have that adjusted properly. Let's Check that. There we go. One inch. Now, I'd like to point something out. Zoom in a little bit. As you can see, the uh, one inch measurement is okay when the uh, stator magnet is positioned at mid-center over the uh, rotor magnets. However, if I move it, uh, let me see, I'm going to loosen up my stator arm. Yeah, if I move it over this way, or move it that way, the um, distance varies. You see that? Here's the center. Huh, wheels spinning around already. Um, so 
so it's it's narrower out here and wider in the back, see? Now what we really need is a, a pivot point right at the center of the stator magnet, you see? Instead of out on the end of the stator arm like we have right now. However, I, th I think this uh, and this will work okay. This will serve the purpose just to demonstrate what I'm going to do. Now what I have here, uh, let me zoom back out again. Um, what I have here, I have a setup uh, with all north facing magnets. Uh, in other words, all, all of the magnet groups have the north side facing up. Uh, get a little more of the wheel into the picture here. As a matter of fact, to make this a uh, little better for the viewers, I'm going to uh, move the camera back because I'm already zoomed all the way out. I want to get the whole wheel into the picture. So uh, I'm going to have to move my stand, so I'll just pause the camera a second. There, that's better. Now you'll notice that the uh, space here on uh, on the pipe where the stator arm T is located, um, I have a space of, let me see, let me measure that. It's seven eighths of an inch. You see I've dropped it down. It was all the way up before, up to here. And now it's down seven eighths of an inch. Uh, had to do that to adjust the height of the magnet over the rotor magnets. Now I've adjusted the uh, camera angle a bit and taken away the um, lamp that I had in the back. I find uh, that um, I'm going to shine it up at the ceiling instead so I can get a bounce effect there to help illuminate the wheel. Uh, it was just too bright when set up in the back like that. Uh, now let me explain what I'm going to be doing in this demonstration. I have four sets of uh, rotor magnets and they're all facing up north. North pole facing up on all of these magnets. Okay. Now with the stator arm swing under the position that I'm showing you now uh, if I have the south, see I have the south marked over here on this side of the stator block. Likewise the north is marked, uh, you might not be able to see that. Now what I'm going to try to do here is uh, position the south uh, so that it's just ahead of the uh, north group of magnets. And you see how that draws it in, right? Okay, and then it slows down at the back end. So what we need to do is let it come in and then swing the arm slightly so that the north magnet comes into play and repels the north group at the back end, pushing it along a little further. Then swing back again so that the south draws in the next group and then swing out with the north repelling that group. And we'll be doing the same thing for each group. Now instead of um, uh, going into a lot more detail, let me just show you this, uh, how this is going to work. Uh, I'm, I'm going to swing the arm from the back. Uh, as I said before, it would be best to have the um, stator magnet pivoting uh, right at the center of the magnet instead of out on the end of the arm like I'm doing. But this is going to work fine for the demonstration, I think. Uh, okay, well, we start with the south. And I'll, I'll speak out south, north, south, north as I swing this uh, arm around, okay? Oh, here we go. I'm going to set it up so get, uh, the north group is drawn in. South, north, 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 south. You know, see how that works? I can see that I'm just about out of time now, so I'm going to say goodbye on this video, but um, stay tuned, there's more to come.